Hi right, guys, today I've got another application review for you guys. This one's called Link Bubble. It's a free application with in app purchases. It's definitely worth the buy. I have bought the pro version. It's made by Chris Luzi, a very good developer. He's also made Action Launcher. So if you do the, um, download the application, um, do s s support him. So essentially, what the application does, it saves you time and a lot of hassle. So when you're on social media websites or social media websites or applications, it would load the link at the background. So if there's links here, so for example, let's just go to this link. It will load at the background as you can see here. You can move this about so that swirling thing that basically means that it's loading. So you can hit on another link and the no number would go up accordingly. So there's another link. There's a third link I've pressed and it's going to load at the background. So you can, I think the free version is restricted to one or I think three links, but the pro version you could do unlimited links. So once you've, once you've done, so it's still loading this page. So when you when you're ready, you could just um, read the article. So you could just use it like a normal browser. Here you can open it with Chrome as well. So you could open it fully in Chrome. You could also copy the link, close the bubble, and go to settings. You could also share it from here. So you could share it to your preferred application. This I believe is a reading mode. So it just gets rid of all the pictures, etc. And you could read it here. So once you're done with it, you could you could just close the bubble as well. You could just go to delete and it will delete that one, that certain um, article or certain tab. And you could also switch between your tabs here very easily and com uh, conveniently. If there's a YouTube video in one of the tabs, you could just hit the YouTube icon and it will take you straight to the YouTube application. There you go, it's taken me straight to the YouTube application. Likewise, if there's an Instagram, um, if it's an Instagram picture, the Instagram icon will come there so you can open it straight in Instagram. So I'll just show you a few more examples in Twitter. So usually what would happen is you'd go to the website, read the article, then come back. It kind of gets a bit tedious. So with this, it will just load out the background nice and swift, saving you a lot of time. And another thing is on Facebook, a lot of the time what happen, particularly with me, is when I go to a certain link and then I check the article out, I come back, I have to start from the beginning of the feed. Um, it's very annoying. So with this application, that won't happen anymore. So you could just straight read it. So you in on here you got the left bubble as WhatsApp. I'm thinking on default is Facebook. So you can share it on WhatsApp. You could also delete it and close it, and you could share it with your preferred application as well. So I just go here and I'll just delete them one by one. You could also delete all of them as well. And um, sorry, I'm not sure if you could delete all of them actually, but not in one shot. Maybe yeah, if you hold on to it, you could delete all of them. Yeah, delete all. So yeah, that's very convenient. So just taking you to the application quickly. So once you open the application, I have used the application before. Um, it's showing 4.8 seconds and 2.9 minutes that I've saved. Um, because I've installed it recently, I've got a new phone. I've got this OnePlus One new, so that's why it's showing me less. But I had it on my Samsung Galaxy S3 as well. Here you've got your history, so it shows you all the previous uh, websites and links that you've clicked on earlier on. Here you've got settings, so you could set your default apps. So obviously here I've got my default application. Left bubble is the one I showed you earlier on. Um, I've configured it to WhatsApp, but obviously you can change it to whatever you like. The right bubble is uh, likewise. You could just choose whichever application you want to share it to, or you could leave it as default, which is share picker. Intercept links from this is basically the links that um, or the ab applications that you want the uh, links to get intercepted by link bubble. And there's some extra settings. There's um, text zoom. Uh, user agent standard incognito mode so it won't basically save your history and cookies on the phone so you could just browse incognito um, uh, clear private data pretty straightforward say thanks faq help and um, just more application by chris uh, chris lacy sorry i've said lucy earlier chris lacy and that's the version number so that's about it guys i really like the application i uh, certainly would recommend it saves a lot of time and hassle um, especially on facebook you actually um, you actually appreciate the application um, so yeah, that's about it. that's been it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, do subscribe. I've got more application and reviews, etc., coming up. Um, uh, do give a like to this button. Uh, you can follow me on the social networks and the links below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.